All right, welcome back. Today we have the Sun and Shadow Cheek Riser. There we have it installed here on this B5 Sop Mod stock. Uh, Neil Batelli from 2AF, he posted about it, and I figured I'd give it a shot. It wasn't too expensive uh, of an investment to see for a test. And Neil and I kind of came at this both from the same uh, origin in that the 416 height, the, the rail height on that receiver, is about a tenth of an inch or more higher than the standard uh, height rail on an M4. Now it's higher because they had to make room for that piston. Because of that, you know, your optic sits a little bit further above where the stock would be uh, on a standard AR. So Neil grabbed it because he wanted to get a little bit better cheek weld, kind of stay in that eye box. I figured I'd give it a shot as well. So it mounts to the stock via Velcro. So on the bottom, you kind of have the, the hook part of the hook and loop, and they ship it with uh, this section right here that you can attach to the stock. Almost all my stocks already have Velcro attached to it. You know, put a dope card on it. I kind of just like the way it feels. So it was really kind of a no-brainer for me just to grab it, you know, throw it on. I wasn't really doing a whole lot of work. You do have to install this uh, with the thought in mind that you need to have the complete length of pull of the charging handle uh, kind of accessible there. So all that you're going to do is you're going to lock that bolt to the rear and make sure that you have full length of pull there uh, on your charging handle before you place the, the cheek riser. So cool thing in my mind is that because it's attached via Velcro, you know, even if you install it too far forward, you just pick it up and put it back there. It's, it's not a big deal. It's really easy to adjust. And it's also very easy to move from rifle to rifle. So while it's not super expensive, you know, it is not cheap either. So it's easy to grab one of these, apply Velcro to more than one stock, and then just move this from one gun to the other as you, as you go about it. I found that I really liked the way this uh, fit with my uh, preferred position on this rifle with a little bit of a higher uh, optic mount. I think if you run like a one-third or a little one-third one height, that kind of 1.7, you'll probably like it as well. And kind of my more precision setup, where the optic is already pretty low, uh, I thought it was a little bit too high for me. So there are a diff bunch of different heights, a bunch of different options for different stocks. And I think if you're looking for a better cheek weld, this is a pretty good option uh, to give it a shot without too much initial investment and making modifications to your stock uh, that you kind of can't go back on. Unlike some other op uh, options on the market, it does kind of have like a full uh, height. It's not just in the rear. So I like that because I tend to shoot with my face a little bit closer to the optic, a little more forward on the gun. Um, and I think overall, you know, I like it. It's, it's worth giving it a shot. And for some rifles, it might work for you. And for some, it might not. And, and that's okay. They included this dope part as well. So they sell these. So you can fill this out. And what's really cool too is that they have this as a, a document for downloads you can kind of make your own instead of having to buy one from them i thought that was pretty neat of them to provide that to you uh, the shooter at no cost all right guys got any questions let me know i'll keep cranking out content thanks